Welcome to Tech Tips to Do Your Own IT. I'm Susan with Language Tech Solutions, and today we're talking about how to create a custom email signature in Outlook. To make the process simple, we've outlined the different sections of this video in the description below. If you're looking for something specific, simply click on the timestamp to take you to that portion of the video. The first thing we'll do is open the Signatures option menu. To do this, you'll enter File and Options on the left-hand side of your screen. From the dialog box, you'll want to select Mail, and then on the right-hand side, look for the Signatures button and select that. From the pop-up, you'll want to select New and type in the name for your signature. From here, you can type or copy and paste the information that you want to include. To customize your font, you'll want to highlight all of your text and select the font menu. A good tip is to use a Microsoft font to make sure that your signature looks consistent across email carriers. We'll use Century Gothic. You can change font size by highlighting your text and selecting a new size from the drop-down menu. To adjust individual lines, simply select the line and select a new font size from the drop-down. From there, you can bold, italicize, or underline text with the options in the top menu. To open the font menu, select your text, right-click, and select the font option from the drop-down. From here, you can add other adjustments like small caps, all caps, or strike through. Now that our font is formatted the way we'd like, we can go to changing color. If you select the color menu option, you'll see that you have a wide variety to choose from with themes, standards, and even recent colors. If you select the more colors option, you can choose from the hexagon or go into custom to select an HSL or RGB option. RGB option is great if you already have the hex number for your custom color. Simply type in the number, hit enter, and your font will change to that color. Just like with font size, we can also update the color of individual pieces of text. So you can also adjust the alignment by selecting the text and using the alignment keys up at the top. To add links to your signature, select the text and click the link button in the navigation bar. Add the address that you'd like to link to in the address box and select OK. You'll notice that your text is updated to standard link format. If you'd like to change this, you can go back into the color and select underline to remove the underline. Even with the style updated, the link will remain active. To add a logo image, first you'll want to select the Upload Image option. From there, you'll navigate to the image file that you'd like to upload, select, and hit Insert. You can either pre-format your logo file for Outlook or change the size once it's uploaded. To change the size, right-click on the image and select the Picture option. This opens the Picture Options menu, where you can do things like alt text and change size. You can change size by set dimension or scale by percentage. We're going to do 10%. Making sure that we've locked our aspect ratio, we'll hit OK. Sometimes Outlook can glitch, showing you this error. The easiest way to clear it is to scroll down and scroll back up. Our image is still a little large, so we're going to go in and adjust that scale to 8%. Again, making sure to lock our aspect ratio, clear the error, and we're ready to go. Just like with text, we can select the link option and add a web address that we'd like the image to link to. Now that we've added an image to our signature, we'll want to make sure to update the plain text signature format. To do so, we'll navigate back to our Signatures option and then hold Control while clicking on that button. This opens a dialog box with our different file types, 
we're going to select the text document for our desired signature, go into the file, and enter our desired text. Select File, Save, and Close. To set an automatic signature, you'll want to select your preferred email address from the Email Account drop-down. Then select the appropriate email signature for both new messages and replies slash forwards. Once our settings are saved, we'll see that our signature automatically populates in a new message. To manually include a signature into your email, type the body of your message and hit enter until the cursor is where you'd like your signature. From the Include panel, select the signature you'd like to include. If you don't see the Include panel, try resizing your message window. Thanks for watching. We upload new videos weekly, so remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all of our tech tips. Leave a comment below if you found this video helpful or if you have any suggestions for future videos.